Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Very happy to be here today. Thank you all for the support you've been showing to this channel. I really do appreciate it. I'm happy to know that it's doing everything it needs to do when helping you buy jewelry. The only thing that stays consistent is the grind. Today, I want to get into a couple of different things that I've been reached out about over the last couple of months since this channel's began. I've compiled a little list and we're going to be getting into a couple of different subjects. So the first question we're going to be reviewing is, can I sleep with my jewelry on, shower with my jewelry on? Can I wear more than one chain at once? Should I buy 10 karat gold or 14 karat gold for my piece? Okay. So the first question that we'll discuss is, can I sleep with my jewelry on? I was specifically asked, Joe, do you sleep with your jewelry on? And so can I. The first thing I wanna say is I definitely sleep with my jewelry on. I do it all the time. And um, currently, if you guys are aware, the stack that I have now, it was different when I was asked these, than, than when I was asked these questions. But the stack that I have now is I wear a flat curb, a concave curb, and I've been also rocking the Luke Zion silver joint that looks like a straight up white gold rhodium plated piece. This is the dollar chain, okay? I've been rocking all three of these at once and I've been sleeping with all three of these on at once. My wife's probably wondering, well, what are you doing? But I love the stack so much that I don't wanna take it off. And I know probably, you know, after a couple of months of doing that, it'll actually be nice to take off. But I pretty much live with these around my neck. Um, have I had any problems sleeping with it? Definitely not. Now, you also want to consider, you want to consider before you go sleeping in something, is it a delicate link? Okay, so these particular chains are not delicate by any means. They're very, very strong links. Now, I've slept in the past with, um, with gold rope chains, diamond cut rope chains, not diamond cut rope chains. I've slept in a couple of different pieces. I've never, never had a problem with any of them, but you have to just be very aware of the fact that depending on the type of sleeper you are, you might be moving around, you might be having crazy dreams. Like when my wife, for example, she has some crazy dreams. If her, her arm ever got caught up in a necklace, it would be ripped and thrown across the room. Um, so this is the kind of stuff that you, you want to kind of think about before you go ahead and sleep in your stuff. Do I sleep in my stuff? Absolutely. It feels comfortable. It does not bother me at all. I don't wake up with any weird feelings about it being around my neck. Never had any issues. I'm not worried about it strangling me. Um, you know, this is a very personal decision. You are going to have to decide for you because you are different than me. But do I wear my stuff when I'm sleeping? Absolutely. Uh, should it? Should you be concerned about it? I wouldn't say you should be concerned about it as long as it's a decent piece of jewelry that you're not going to worry about um, breaking. If it's a very, very delicate link, you might want to reconsider. But you can see, as you can see in, in my particular circumstance, these things that I'm, I'm sleeping in are solid, very, very solid, and also very, very clean because I just washed them for this video. I was specifically asked again, Joe, do you shower with your jewelry on? Absolutely. I shower with my jewelry on. I love showering with my jewelry on. I've seen a couple of different people say you shouldn't. Uh, the only good reason why I would say you shouldn't is because if for some reason your jewelry does like fall off from around your neck, it can go ahead and maybe work its way down the drain. But honestly, I mean, these things are heavy. These things are heavy. So if they fell, they were not falling down the drain. They're gonna just drop on the floor and I'm gonna literally pick it up and then, you know, it, it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, but I would, I would be concerned with it maybe somehow falling down the drain. That would be about it. But other than that, I shower with my jewelry on. I use that opportunity to wash my chains, okay? Now, I use very specific soaps, all right? Organic soaps and things that are going to, they don't have any harsh chemicals and they don't have any stuff that's going to build up on this chain. I'm not too concerned with harsh chemicals because this stuff, this is solid. I mean, there's a reason why gold is so sought after. It's because it almost never reacts with any type of uh, chemical that you're going to find. And, and, you know, this is 14 karat gold. So I'm not worried about any type of reaction that's going to come from any soaps that I'm using. Definitely not. That's the last reason that I would uh, not use soap. I'm using soap that's going to 
that cleans my body, it takes all the oils off of my body, and it leaves me clean, right? I'm using the same soap to wash my stuff. I'm not using any thick conditioners that are going to leave a residue behind. I'm not using any of that. A lot of, a lot of commercial soaps, like, you know, I, I don't want to name any, I really can't think of any right now, but a lot of stuff you buy, I don't know, Pantene or something like that, it might leave some kind of a residue behind because it's made to do that to stay on your skin or on your hair. The stuff that I'm using is very, very natural stuff, and all it's doing is shining up my chains. So I will literally wash these while I'm in the shower, wash them right while I'm in the shower, and uh, I do that every time I shower. I'm not worried about the water messing these up at all. We'll get into that, you know, next. I'm not worried about the water messing this up. I know a lot of people are going to say, Joe, that's silver. You shouldn't be showering in it. Guys, I've owned silver jewelry in the past. Never had a problem. These two chains here are 14 karat. I never had a problem showering with them. I've owned the Luke Zion chain for, I want to say, about a month now. I, I want to be comfortable saying it's been about a month. And I've showered with it plenty plenty of times I every single time I shower I'm wearing it I've slept in it every single time I sleep right all three of these never had an issue as far as me my gold chains go right these for example because for, for years before I got this one here I would just wear these two this was my every single day stack almost no matter where I went when I'm at work when I'm going out with my friends this is these are the two chains that I would wear and even before I got the concave, even before I got the flat link, I had the concave. Years. I've worn these chains for years. Never, ever been a problem. I shower with them all the time. All the time. So it does not matter. I'm not worried about the water. And even if for some reason anything started to tarnish, all you do is simply polish it up. You polish it up. And all of a sudden that tarnish is gone and it's back to being brand new. So I've never had a problem. And a lot of, again, a lot of you are going to probably think, oh, well, can you get this wet? It's beautiful silver chain. Can you get it wet? I've got it wet a million times. I've sweat in it. Never been a problem. I wash it every time I shower. And that's probably helping the situation because you're not going to have the oils and the greases from your skin all over your jewelry. I like to keep it clean and I take care of that when I'm showering. The third question is, can I wear more than one chain at once? Now, this question was asked before I got this, right? Before I added this to my everyday. These two chains here, I would wear all the time, okay? Can I wear more than one chain at once? Well, you guys know a million people wear more than one chain at once, but something that I was concerned with back before I, you know, um, got unconcerned with it was I was worried about wearing two chains at once because I thought they would scuff each other up. Now, these two chains are flat link chains, so they're not really going to be abusing each other too much. But if I went and wore a like a diamond cut um, rope chain around the neck, if I wore something along those lines and I was wearing it with maybe a flat link, maybe you'd have a little bit more potential, especially, you know, something that's diamond cut. The edges are a little bit harsh, right? I've heard of people's diamond cut jewelry, you know, kind of irritating their skin. It's never happened to me. I, I, I wore a white gold diamond cut rope chain around my neck for like seven years. And it never issue, never an issue, never an issue. Whether I was working, whether I was, you know, playing, whatever I was doing. Uh, showering, never a problem with anything. You do have the potential, I guess, to scuff up jewelry, depending, especially depending on the link that you're wearing, okay? But honestly, before I would... I was deterred. I was deterred from wearing two chains at one length at the same time because I was worried about ruining them. And then one day I realized, Joe, don't worry about it. The whole reason you bought this stuff is so that you can appreciate it. If I would appreciate it by wearing more than one chain at once, then I need to go ahead and do that because if not, I'm not appreciating it. What's the point of me having it? That's literally the mindset that I had to have. Once I started appreciating it, wearing them more than once at the same time, it never bothered me again. And guess what? No, no issues. I wanted to show you these. I've been doing everything in these, okay? Whether it's work, whether it's play, whether it's sleeping, whether it's, you know, showering. I mean, I know it's hard to tell on camera. They don't have any wear. And I've wore these two, the two gold ones, for years. No wear. And I don't polish them. I do not polish them. I don't remember the last time I polished these. Zero issue. 
okay? So again, it's gonna depend on the link that you're wearing. It will, it will depend on the link, but as a whole, even if you have a more harsh link, I wouldn't worry about it. I would wear it to your heart's, to, 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 to make your heart content. I would wear it, be happy with the stuff that you have, enjoy it, and then when you do start to see a little scuffs, a couple of scuffs, what are you gonna do? You're just gonna get them polished out. You're gonna get them buffed out and it's gonna look like brand new again. That's the way I look at it in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should I buy 10 karat gold or 14 karat gold? So I've owned a 14 karat chain in the past. Never had a problem with it. Showered with it, slept with it. Never ever had a problem with it. When I bought it, the reason I bought a 10 karat was because it was cheaper, okay? It's less gold than a 14 karat gold. So it's gonna be a little bit cheaper. Um, and I, that's why I purchased it. But I never had a problem with it. And honestly, the color is almost the same as a 14 karat gold. So I thought, well, if it's cheaper and it looks almost the same, pretty much the same. I mean, you really need to, to know what you're talking about, have the right lighting to be able to tell the difference. Um, in my opinion, every chain's different. Every manufacturer is different, though. But um, for the most part, you're not going to know the difference in color. Would I recommend you to buy a 10 carat if you want to save some money? Sure, absolutely. Just understand that when you sell it though, you're going to be getting less. A lot of people, for some reason, they look down on 10 carat. Now, I'm no like investor. I'm not, I'm not involved with investing. I'm just talking to you about how I see it and how I've thought about it in the past. As far as 10 karat gold goes, if you're buying it for you and you want something beautiful to hang around your neck or on your finger or whatever, I would go ahead and purchase it if you're trying to save money or if you need something that's durable, more durable than 14 karat. 10 karat gold is great for pieces that you're getting made or that you're purchasing when you know you're gonna beat them up. Now, these 14 karat pieces that I have here, I've beat these things up. And just because they're 14 karat does not mean that they're getting destroyed. I told you, I've beaten these things up and they're fine. So if I was gonna get a ring made, I would probably, if I was gonna wear that ring every day, make it 10 karat. You're gonna see a lot less wear on jewelry that you're using all the time in a heavy, heavy circumstance. Um, you can see less wear if you go with a 10 karat. When you come to a 14 karat chain, I don't think you're, you're really gonna be experiencing much wear. Um, I wouldn't say, oh, you have to get a 10 karat chain unless you're like, I don't know what you'd be doing, honestly. I bodybuild in 14 karat. I, uh, I, I do everything in 14 karat. I've never had a problem, and I'm wearing more than one chain at once. They're rubbing against each other all the time. Never had an issue, okay, in my personal experience. Uh, so 10 karat, I would say it's great if you need something more durable. It's also great if you wanna save some money. But remember, if you go to sell it, you're gonna be getting less money than if it was a 14 karat, and very likely people are gonna look at it and be like, eh, it's a 10 karat, so they're gonna give you even less than probably what it's worth in its weight in gold, okay? Um, so that's just my opinion. Would I say that one is better than the other? Honestly, no. I mean, I know a buddy of mine um, uh, from Ireland. He has a nine carat ring, nine carat ring. I mean, a lot of people have never heard of a nine carat anything before, right? But he has a nine carat ring. And does it, does it tarnish? No, it doesn't tarnish. It does not tarnish. He's had it for years. It does not tarnish. He washes with his hands with it and everything like that. Never an issue with tarnishing. And if there was, you simply buff it out. You just get a polishing cloth, you polish it up, and all of a sudden it's like brand new. So if it's gonna save you money, still look good, and be durable enough for you, I would say definitely go with a 10. I wouldn't worry about it, especially if you don't plan on selling it anytime soon. If it's for you, you wanna have that feeling and that weight of gold around your neck, and it's still gonna be very, very durable. Again, the nine carat ring has been very, very durable. No issues with that. So I wouldn't even worry about it. If you want a deeper color when compared to the 14 carat and the 10, honestly, in my opinion, they're almost the same. I don't have a 10 carat with me that I can you know, apply to the situation currently, but just visually, I've seen it. It does kind of look more pale, but also depending on the finish of the chain you're buying, and also depending on the manufacturer of your chain, your 14 carats might look pale too. So you might have a 10 carat piece that looks as pale as a 14 carat piece depending on the polish and depending on the link. Keep that in mind, okay? So, and also depending on the lighting, the lighting of the situation you're in. Nine carats, pretty pale. Um, it's more pale than 10. The higher you go in gold, the more of an orange look it's gonna kind of get. But at the end of the day, guys, I wouldn't worry about the color difference, really, because honestly, in my opinion, it's not too much of a difference. If you're staying in standard lighting a lot of the time, 
everything's gonna look a little bit darker. Unless you're under some really, really bright lights, I wouldn't worry about it. So I think we covered everything on that list. I hope this video was helpful. Keep in mind, um, you know, I'm no expert on anything, but this is just my experience with the stuff. I've never had a problem, and a lot of people have asked me since I've purchased this Luke Zion, is how's it holding up? So to give you guys an update on the Luke Zion, it's holding up really good. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm literally, just, I'm showing you guys right on the camera as best as I can give you, but no scratching, no, no polish issues. Everything's holding up really, really nice. And again, I've been wearing it with these other two chains and I've been beating them up. And the other two chains are just perfect as well. And I've had them on for years and years and years, never had to polish them. All I do is wash them. I wash them in the shower. They get soaking wet, and then I just let them air dry. Never a problem, okay? So this, this video actually covered another request that I had where someone asked, can you show me how to clean them? I'll get into another video regarding that. They mentioned, should I use my toothbrush? I do not recommend you use a toothbrush to clean your stuff, okay? Um, but we'll get into a cleaning video later on. Uh, so this covers today's video. I hope you guys are all well. Be safe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.